RM Stills Limited requires a 10 lakhs rupees for construction of a new plant. It is considering three financial plans. The company may issue 1 lakh ordinary shares at the rate of rupees 10 per share. The company may issue 50,000 ordinary shares at the rate of rupees 10 per share, 5,000 debentures of rupees 100 denomination bearing 8% rate of interest. The company may issue 50,000 ordinary shares of rupees 10 each, 5,000 preference shares at the rate of 100 per share bearing 8% dividend. So, this is only equity. This is equity plus debt and this is equity plus preference shares. Three different options. If RM stills limited, earning before interest and tax are 20,000, 40,000, 80,000, 1 lakh, 20,000 and 2 lakhs. So you need to do 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 questions. All right. You are required to compute earning per share under each of three financial plan. Which alternative would you recommend for RM stills and why if tax rate is 50%? Now PE ratio is not given so practically our objective will still remain to maximize EPS. Let me do this first question. If EBIT is 20,000, let me first write down all three financial plans. What are three? Uh, plan number one, equity, 1 lakh into rupees 10 is rupees 10 lakhs. Plan two, the company may issue 50,000 at the rate of rupees 10, that is 50,000 rupees equity. 5,000 debentures of 100, 5,000 into 100 will be 50,000 rupees, will be nothing but debt, in this case debt is zero. Third, the company may issue 50,000 shares at the rate of rupees 10, 50,000 rupees. It will not be having any debt, but preference shares of rupees 100 each. So preference shares, you need more 50,000 rupees. So you will issue 500 yes. preference shares of rupees 100 each. Yes, Kishan? I like not 50,000. Sorry, it will be 5 lakhs. Thank you. It will be 5 lakhs rupees. In this case also your borrowings will be 10 lakhs. In this case also your borrowings will be 10 lakhs. In this case also your borrowings will be 10 lakhs. As I told you in first question, if this three are not same, you are not evaluating capital structure decision. You are doing something wrong in capital structure. So to evaluate this all three plans, they have given different EBIT. So don't get confused. They are just different questions. If EBIT is a 20,000 and if EBIT is 2 lakhs, I will be doing in classroom. This all questions you will be doing it on your own. So let us go. If EBIT is a 20,000. If EBIT is rupees. Let me find out the answer. Particulars, plan 1, plan 2, plan EBIT will be 20,000. Whether you opt for plan 1, plan 2 or plan 3, in each case you are borrowing to it, to 10 lakhs rupees. So in each case you will be getting EBIT of 20,000 rupees minus interest. I know plan 1 is equity, so equity will be 0. Plan 2 is a preference plus equity, so interest will be 0. Plan 2, plan 2 is having 5 lakh debt of 8% interest rate. So 5 lakh into 8% is 40,000.
this will be EBT. What is EBT? Twenty thousand negative twenty thousand twenty thousand minus tax. What is the tax rate? Fifty percent. So this will be ten thousand. This will be ten thousand positive tax benefit because you are having loss. You will be learning in taxation set off and carry forward. This is one of the set off. If you are getting tax benefit on loss, you will be uh, writing plus ten thousand. And sorry, tax will be pl plus ten thousand. And here, this is not negative twenty thousand. This is. Earnings available. Sorry, earning after tax. This is ten thousand. This is negative ten thousand, and this is positive. Minus preference dividend. In plan one, preference dividend is zero. In plan two, preference dividend is zero. In plan three, preference dividend is five lakh. Multiplied by eight percent, so it is also eight percent. Uh, five lakh into eight percent will be forty thousand. Ten thousand. Negative ten thousand. Negative thirty thousand. This is my earnings available to equity share. I need to find out number of shares. Number of shares in first case. In every case, the share is of rupees ten each. So it will be ten lakhs divided by ten, which will be one lakh. Ten lakh divided by ten is one lakh. Five lakh divided by ten is fifty thousand. Five lakh divided by ten is again fifty thousand. EPS will be zero point one zero. Your EPS will be ten thousand divided by fifty thousand. Zero point two, but negative. Your EPS will be thirty thousand divided by fifty thousand. It is zero point six negative. How to select an option? I will be maximizing EPS. Even if EPS looks low, zero point one zero. This is our optimal decision. This is our optimal decision. You should go for plan one. If your EBIT. Will be rupees twenty thousand. So say you have hired an economist who says that your EBIT is going to be twenty thousand if you start this project. You should borrow hundred percent from equity. That that is you should be having your own money. Let us go to another option. Last option. If EBIT is two lakhs, all other you need to do on your own. If EBIT is rupees two lakhs, I know plan answer. Plan will be two. Ninety-nine point ninety-nine percent plan will be two. Plan one, plan two, plan EBIT two lakhs, two lakhs, two lakhs. Because your total borrowing will be ten lakhs in any of the plan, minus interest. I can copy down from here because interest, your plans are same. This is EBD. EBD will be two lakhs. Two lakh. One lakh sixty thousand. Two lakh. I directly find out EAT, EBT into one minus T. Here there was a concept of some tax benefit, so I have not done one minus T. You can even do one minus one minus T in that also. 
So 2 lakh into 1 minus k will still remain 50 percent. 50 percent will be 1 lakh. This will be 80,000. This will be. Number of shares does not change because, sorry, uh, first will come preference dividend. 0, 0, 0. This will be 1 lakh. This will be 80,000. This will be 60,000. Number of shares does not change. Because your plans are remaining same. Is 1 lakh. 50,000. And 50,000. EPS. Here it will be 1. Here will be 80,000 divided by 50,000 is 1.6 and here it will be 60,000 divided by 50,000 is 1.2 where it is highest over here. So your plan 2 if EBIT is 2 lakhs. So, if some economist says that your EBIT is going to remain 2 lakhs and you are having only this 3 plan, then plan 2 is to be selected. Or concentrate. When your profit was lower, Today, Drashti or Drashit, I don't know, Drashti. Drashti gave an answer that if you are capable of taking risk, here, your earnings are not so much that you are capable of taking risk. So, you select non-risky option. So, we have not gone even to this. Any student can help me out which is more risky option, more risky option, plan 1, plan 2 or plan 3. Sequence wise, which is highest risky, then medium risky, then lowest risky. Mihir? When risky securities are more, your company will become more risky. Tell me from plan 1 and 2. Rusty? Uh, from earnings we have to say or from plan, plan 1 and 2 which is more risky? You can take anything. Plan 1 Right, plan, right. one, plan one is less risky. Why? Because in that uh, all the amount, all the funds are from equity. Exactly. This, this, this is a very simple concept. For a company, equity is less risky. Debt is more risky. What is debt proportion in plan one? Zero. So it is less risky. What is debt proportion in plan two? As compared to plan one, there is some debt. All right. So, uh, plan 2 is more risky. Any debt proportion means you are more risky. And believe me, preference is in middle risky. Why? Preference is as good as debt also. It is as good as equity also. See, preference is having a problem. In preference, you will have to pay fixed money. In preference, you will have to pay fixed money. If they are cumulative preferences, sometimes you will have to pay it. But you will not be getting tax benefit. Are you getting it? So practically it is having a negative portion of equity also that it is not having tax benefit. It is an having negative portion of debt also that it is compulsory payment. Yes, if there is a pro no profit, the company might not pay preference dividend. But ultimately if they are cumulative preferences, they will have to pay it in next year. So company plan 2 company is more risky as compared to plan 1 let us forget plan 3 right now. so when you were capable of taking risk yes or no no 
See, it is giving you answer of non-risky plan. <coughs> when your profit is not enough to cover the risks, you should go for non-risky option. When your profit is sufficient to take the risk, you should go for risky option. Believe me, in next lecture, we are going to learn this perfectly. Believe me, even, even uh, without doing this calculations, as I gave you the answer that it will be planned to in this question before solving it, you will be also able to solve which plan should be there without solving it. We'll be learning it. But right now, concentrate on only calculation and finding out the answer which plan is to be selected. As I told you, for all this EBIT, 40,000, 80,000 and 1 lakh 20,000, uh, you need to solve it on your own. This was question number 3.